Now, uh, pro biological reality sportswear brand XXXY Athletics has uh, released an ad uh, absolutely blasting Nike over its refusal to stand by women and women's sport to protect it from the radical gender ideology that sees males identifying as women competing against women. Have a look. Dear Nike. Dear Nike. Why won't you stand up for me? Why won't you stand up for me? Why won't you? Why do you claim to support women and girls? Yet when we need you most, you remain silent. Today, males are claiming our identity. Our sports. Our spaces. Men and boys are stealing opportunities, medals, trophies, and our future. And it's not fair or just. In fact, it's often dangerous. Yet you refuse to use your platform to stand up. You say you're for social justice and progress. So why do you allow men's rights to come before ours? See, with a big platform comes an even bigger responsibility. You have a chance to do the right thing, not just do the easy thing. Alex, uh... They are absolutely right. Nike has been very active politically. It's taken a stand on a bunch of political issues uh, from BLM to, to burkas. It uh, has used Dylan Mulvaney to advertise its female clothing range. So it's definitely taken a position on this issue. It just hasn't taken a position that supports biological girls and women. Well, you know, I hate to say it, Rita, but I actually side with Nike on this here in America because I like transgenders in women's sports because I can gamble on them and I can win money like Leah Thomas. I mean, I'm basically Alex. very wealthy now. For I, we, we can. They, they give us odds here in Las Vegas. I've won more money on these transgenders in women's sports than any of the women that could ever do. So I, I don't want to outlaw it personally, but I can understand why those women are affected and I, I'm very empathetic to them. You are thinking of only yourself. Uh, but you're right, there won't be too many uh, women in women's sport if we uh, let the men participate because uh, there's a reason why we've got the different categories. How important is that issue? I said it is one that some in the feminist movement are talking about. Obviously, it's not up there with inflation or uh, illegal immigration crime. But is it something that's been talked about in the lead-up to the election? Yeah, no, it actually is a really big issue. And then San Jose State uh, women's volleyball team, there's been colleges forfeiting games against them because they have a transgender athlete. So it's just encouraging more transgenders to maybe transition their sex to get a competitive advantage. And sports in America is one thing that people actually care about. People care more about sports than they do politics. <laughs> so it is a big issue. Uh, but the only thing is, I don't know if it's as big an issue as abortion or, you know, the economy, but 100% it's an issue that gets talked about a lot, especially in the media. Thank you, Alex Stein. Thank you, Rita.